Good morning, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica, Lady V of HigherRealmHolistics.com, Empath, Intuitive, Certified, Holistic, Integrative Health Nurse, Reiki Master. If you're interested in any of my services, please go to HigherRealmHolistics.com. Also, if you're interested in my books, uh, children's book and also adult book, or if you're interested in one of my merch, I have mugs, I have t-shirts and hoodies. I do have international shipping available now. Both of those websites, um, I wasn't able to transfer all of my designs to the international, but it does have a good amount it, and they have the mugs. It's the only site that has the mug Teesprings and sell my teas is my other website. All right, so this is November 2nd and um, I felt these energies coming in since yesterday. Yesterday, it was a doozy for me. I I barely made it out of bed. Managed to walk to the store to pick up a couple of things, but that was about it. Couldn't even get my laundry done. <laughs> That's how yesterday was like, ugh. And I was like, oh, man, these energies, what is the deal? And then early this morning, suspicious observer, and we'll get to him right now. Suspicious Observer had um, information on these cosmic rays that are coming in and due to hit starting today. Um, and they're pretty intense and it's due to the solar minimum that we're having. I did post the entire video in my community page. Some of you might have already seen the post if you get notifications. Again, I'm losing viewers and, you know, left and right. And it's just not YouTube platform. I lost, and it was so weird. One second, I have over a thousand people in my meetup group, and the next second, a thousand of them were gone. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. So, you know, I'm being heavily censored. It's not just truth or channels that are getting heavily censored. The spiritual ones are getting ju hit just as hard, okay, because it is part of the truth getting out. But share, 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 and share again. Not this disinformation, but also my other channel, uh, which is Saving Gen Z, okay? Uh, you'll find the link in the description, also videos. I'm putting it out. I'm putting one out today um, in reference to the masculinization of females okay you know how that agenda is being pushed through diet through propaganda all righty so again cosmic rays what are cosmic rays we'll cover it real quick okay okay cosmic rays are atom fragments that rain down on earth from outside of the solar system they blaze at the speed of light and have been blamed for electronic problems in satellites and other machinery. But as Suspicious Observer um, reiterates, it's not just about equipment. It has a serious effect on the human body also. And he even says, if you don't feel it all the way in your atoms, which you will, that is what, see, they see it as such a horrible thing. But like in the next 24 hours, as he mentioned, Suspicious Observer, it's going to be extremely intense. All right. So batten down your hatches. Um, it is that energy we've been calling in. It is part of the awaken energy, part of the ascension jump energy that we've been calling in with the Sri Yantra meditations. And it started, we started pulling it in from when I put that meditation on with the sun. The sun, our sun serves as a portal. That's when it goes into serious solar minimum. Hardly any activity coming on. It's to allow those other particles to come in, to get down all the way to our atoms. As even Suspicious Observer talks about, it gets down to our very core to cause those changes, to trigger those changes, to change our DNA, to trigger our, our X genes, right? Tigger our X genes. And with the mantras that I put out, um, it assists in that activation. And with what's coming up right now, let me see, I think I have another video about it, another thing I'm talking about with the cosmic rays. Yeah, here we go. A lot of earth changes, not just 
electronics and satellites and the, the human body or changes also not only is it affecting us <clears throat> when it comes to our very molecular structure but emotionally big time emotionally i can only describe it as emotional dumps also and remember it's working with the mercury retrograde energy which is a big deal it is calling back it's not calling back but energy that you put out is coming back not only that people are coming back a lot of you have written to me about that all of a sudden you hear from people in one day yesterday and i was told november 1st it was going to start with me sure as heck did one day two people that i haven't spoken to in in a while one of them i haven't spoken to since last summer who i was friends with for 15 years and then we just stopped talking because of stuff she was doing i didn't i i couldn't deal with so i didn't want to be a part of came back and then uh my one muggle friend down here she called me up out of the blue to have a conversation and to check up on me and tell me what's going on in her life also so it's like okay next who's next i'm all good for an apology but not you know taking an I, I forgive the minute the, the deed is done, but you have to have discernment whether or not you allow that person back into your life. Or are they still a destructive force to themselves? So therefore bringing the destruction into your life and is the apology about manipulation instead of about sincerity and true change. That is where the discernment comes in. Just because somebody says, I'm sorry, doesn't mean you're like this because you could be welcoming the devil back into your life. Okay, be careful. So when it comes to um, these uh, cosmic rays coming in, this is the way the muggles are describing it. Cosmic rays are bad and they're getting worse. That's the conclusion of new paper just published in the research journal, Space Weather. The, author, uh, the authors led by Professor Nathan uh, Squadron of the University of New Hampshire show that radiation from deep space is dangerous and intensifying faster than previously predicted. I say bring it. <laughs> That's how I say it. I say bring it. Okay. And yes, of course, it's affecting Earth's magnetic field and all these Earth changes are going to size, seismic, you know, seismic radiation all these things that, yeah you know earthquakes it's going to roll up the volcanoes you know yes a lot of stuff is uh, you know cosmic rays will intensify even more in the years ahead as the sun pl plunges towards what may be the deepest solar minimum in more than a century yeah we're in it we're deep in it we're deep in the awakening energies oof i just Oof, and you will feel it on your skin. It's like it's like this electric shock and yeah, uh, revolt, uh, revolt. Uh, no, not not revolting, but I just felt it. It's like it comes in through my hands. I see little sparks. It comes through my hands and now I literally feel it climbing through my body. And it makes my whole body hot and tingly and like I just stuck my finger in a socket and I feel hot and almost and itchy and yeah, the rashes popped up my shoulders and back and everything yesterday that that's happening too by the way so migraines sleepiness exhaustion depression anxiety um again feeling that electricity shooting through your body um your skin feels like it's crawling rashes ugh, the rashes annoy the heck out of me the rashes all that kind of stuff, mood, horrible mood swings. One second you're up, next second you're like, you're on the ground, okay? And it's like, you know, don't even pick me up. Let me die here. <laughs> sort of feeling, wow, I just got hit hard by it. Yeah, it like comes in waves. I keep feeling it in waves. All right, so be prepared. Now, what I wanted to share with everyone, while all these amazing cosmic rays are coming in, mudras uh i want to make sure that everyone is on board to do some mudras okay and what is a mudra okay mudras are positions 
of the body that have some kind of influence on the energies of the body or your mood. Mostly the hands and fingers are held in some positions, but the whole body may be part of the mudra as well. As well. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, and I want you to look at this palm, okay? And here's Mercury on your pinky. So to do this mudra during your meditation, you put your thumb to your pinky. And that is calling in and intensifying the Mercury retrograde energy right now. All right? Bringing it, coming in with these cosmic rays. This is the mudra to do. And when I, I was guided to do that mudra this morning, and when I did it, while looking at my Sri Yantra, remember the Sri Yantra that has your uh, primary and secondary numbers on it, or if you don't have those numbers yet, just have your Sri Yantra there. And yes, it's in my blog, divineyoungsouls.blogspot.com. And while you're saying your, um, your, your mantras, you'd use your mudras. And I already put the mantras out there. I did two meditation with the mantras, so please go back. Don't ask. Oh, write them again. No, stop being lazy. Go print them out. I put a lot of work into this, okay? So it's about you stepping forward and taking responsibility for your own ascension. Not, I told you guys, I don't spoon feed. If, if you're new to this channel, I don't spoon feed. I put a lot of energy. I put a lot of work into it. All you got to do is click on a link, okay? Print it out, write it out. So these are the, this, is the, this is the mudra, okay? Your pinky to your um, thumb to call in that energy of mercury retrograde, okay? And the, um, the, the mantra that you could say, and I said it after doing it for, for my activation, which I said I'm going to do till the end of this year, which that's what I recommended. I do it morning and night, okay, before I go to sleep. I'm putting in an extra 10 Ma, M-A-A-H, Om, O-M, Ma, Om, which is the mantra, the special mantra that was given to me for the sound of manifestation of your goals. That's exactly what it was said to me, for the manifestation of your goals, and especially with this Mercury retrograde energy coming back. So you could do this mudra and mantra together till the end of this Mercury retrograde which I think is November 20th, okay? So ma, ma, while you're looking into your Sri Yantra, do this mudra, okay? Okay, I opened it twice. All right, that was, that was it. Okay, everyone, thank you for listening and watching, and I hope this is helpful for you, okay? And please share um, the videos. That's the only way it goes up. Like, thumbs up, please, because that's the only way I get up in the ranking. You all know I'm being squashed through al algorithms, and also help me promote my other channel, Saving Gen Z. And that channel is about saving Gen Z, okay? It's about the um, the propagandas that, that's being put out to destroy the future of mankind, basically by attacking our children and our grandchildren, Gen Z, which I have both Gen Y and Gen Z, and I have a two-year-old granddaughter. So even if you don't have children and you just care about the future of mankind. This is extremely important. All righty. Thank you, Lady V up. We got the victory. You know, happy, happy meditating, <laughs> everyone. Okay. Try to have a good weekend. I'll see uh, a lot of you guys later for the um, Merkaba activation that I am having later on today, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You could still register up until 645, I give it. PM Eastern Standard Time. You could still register. It's only 22 bucks. Merkaba activation. It's via Zoom webinar. Go to higherrealmholistics.com. Right up on right hand side, there's a tab that says webinars and seminars. Scroll down, you will see it. All right. And you could have, of course, purchase all the past webinars 
and uh, the bat past higher realm magic. And there's also regular meditations there, MP3, MP4 meditations, only 11, 11, you know, 11 bucks. Okay, Lady B out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.